that they, um, if you want to take the co-product of free monads, you only need, need to take the co-product of the underlying functor. And the co-product of functors is really easy. So Neil Ghani, who's um, this category theorist, it, he was at Nottingham as well at the time that I was there. And he has a paper on composing monads with co-products. And it's a nice idea. And he, they try to implement this in Haskell, but it you know doesn't quite work out. But of course, it does work very nicely if you have free monads. Um, so actually, uh, the original title I think that I was aiming for was to write a paper about monads for free or something like uh, uh, play on words to kind of theorems for free. And um, I realized, oh, okay, I want to show that you can you can combine these things nicely. And then I figured, oh, if, if maybe before I do monads, I should do data types. And then you kind of realize, oh, okay, I have to explain how to combine data types and how to, you know, uh, how that works. <clears throat> and um, I, I was sharing an, an office with Mauro Haskeliov and I was kind of saying, oh, okay, this is what I wanted to do. And then he said, oh, but you should look at this paper by uh, Paul Hudak and one of his students. And I think it's one of the you know, Monad transformer uh, uh, papers from the early 2000s. I forget. But they do this trick with automating injections and that worked really nicely in the context of the data type stuff um so mauro suggested that and i looked into that and it kind of worked out and then wrote about the free monad stuff and then the paper kind of came together in the end so it's um uh i think it was the the first functional pearl i ever published and it's still uh, it's still a really nice paper i think so uh, yeah